It's been so long since I met another person in these desolate, gloomy places. Another few moments, and we would never have met. Hello, I'm... Boy, I have an unspoken agreement with the locals to maintain peaceful relations with them. The entire swamp is full of vile, soulless creatures. One of which just tried to catch you for its dinner. Sorry. Never mind. Sometimes you need to remind these beasts who rules the swamp. Why did you choose to live in such an awful place? I wanted to be alone. The natural surroundings here act as a barrier against the outside world. But by some miracle, you managed to reach my house. I presume you have not come to these green parts for no reason. I came to ask for help. The sorceress you turned into a butterfly has gained power and has possessed my sister's mind. She wants to destroy the whole forest. The spirit said that only you can stop her. I couldn't back then, and I won't be able to this time, either. What that loss has done to you, my beautiful daughter, who was so capable from such a young age, is the butterfly. It all began when she was a child. Wolves savaged her mother during a walk in the forest, and my daughter only survived thanks to a passing hunter. That experience changed her deeply. She came to hate the forest and swore to destroy all its inhabitants in the most painful way. We no longer spoke. She spent all her time engrossed in dark tones creating spells. Time passed, and for a moment, I thought my little girl had forgotten her terrifying plans. She married, had children, and then the forest made itself known once more. Her son was attacked by a bear. The beast only slightly wounded the child, but that was enough to awaken the evil slumbering within her. I noticed the change, and I realized I had to act. The only thing I could do was transform my daughter into a harmless creature 
A butterfly, for instance. She loved butterflies when she was little. And then I had to lock her in the magical cage that would drain her dark power and bring peace to her troubled soul. Forever, I could not bring myself to put her in the cage. Your story, it's making me feel... strange. But does that mean you still have the cage and we can save the forest? Yes, I still have it. You only need to open the cage next to her. The magic will do the rest. Do you know where my daughter is now? I came across her in the cave. Say no more. Now, focus and think of that place. My boy, you have returned. It's so wonderful to see the whole family reunited. Father, what's going on? My son, we thought your poor mother died, but we were wrong. She took on a different form, but even in this incredibly fragile body, she was able to find us and reunite our family. Lars, look at the amazing crown we prepared specially for you! You have spent long enough rolling in the dirt with the rabble, my boy. Now the time has come to rule. Mother... But all these killings... It's madness! The girls are only cleansing the forest of its blight. I need a clean slate on which we can build our wonderful new world together. What is that strange cage you're holding? Mother, forgive me. This cage is for you. Son, put the cage down. Papa, please, wake up. We're not killers. Brother, don't do anything foolish. I don't want to lose mother all over again. You don't know what you're doing. Our mother is gone. <laughs> 